not to be confused with sixth disease C. exanthema subitum. Erythema infectiosum or fifth disease is one of several possible manifestations of infection by erythrovirus, previously called parvovirus B19. The disease is also referred to as slap cheek syndrome, slap cheek, slap face or slapped face. The name fifth disease comes from its place on the standard list of rash-causing childhood diseases, which also includes measles, scarlet fever, and rubella. Symptoms Fifth disease starts with a low-grade fever, headache, rash, and cold-like symptoms, such as a runny or stuffy nose. These symptoms pass, then a few days later the rash appears. The bright red rash most commonly appears in the face, particularly the cheeks. This is a defining symptom of the infection in children. Occasionally the rash will extend over the bridge of the nose or around the mouth. In addition to red cheeks, children often develop a red, lacy rash on the rest of the body, with the upper arms, torso, and legs being the most common locations. The rash typically lasts a couple of days and may itch. Some cases have been known to last for several weeks. Patients are usually no longer infectious once the rash has appeared. Teenagers and adults may present with a self-limited arthritis. It manifests in painful swelling of the joints that feels similar to arthritis. Older children and adults with fifth disease may have difficulty in walking and in bending joints such as wrists, knees, ankles, fingers, and shoulders. The disease is usually mild, but in certain risk groups it can have serious consequences. In pregnant women, Infection in the first trimester has been linked to hydrops fatalis, causing spontaneous miscarriage. In people with sickle cell disease or other forms of chronic hemolytic anemia such as hereditary spherocytosis, infection can precipitate a neoplastic crisis. It should also be noted that those who are immunocompromised may be at risk for complications if exposed. Transmission Fifth disease is transmitted primarily by respiratory secretions but can also be spread by contact with infected blood. The incubation period is usually between 4 and 21 days. Individuals with fifth disease are most infectious before the onset of symptoms. Typically, schoolchildren, daycare workers, teachers and mothers are most likely to be exposed to the virus. When symptoms are evident, there is little risk of transmission. Therefore, symptomatic individuals need not be isolated. Epidemiology Any age may be affected although it is most common in children aged 5 to 15 years. By the time adulthood is reached about half the population will have become immune following infection at some time in their past. Outbreaks can arise especially in nursery schools, preschools, and elementary schools. History the name fifth disease is not typically capitalized, since the name derives from its historical classification as the fifth of the classical childhood skin rashes or exanthems. Their classification is as follows, measles, scarlet fever, rubella, Duke's disease, fifth disease, rosea. It was first described by Robert Willen in 1799 as rubiola, Cotero. It was better defined by Anton Chamer in 1889 as a rubella variant identified as a distinct condition in 1896 by T. Escherich, and given the name erythema infectiosum in 1899. Treatment Treatment is supportive as the infection is frequently self-limiting. Antipyrogens are commonly used. The rash is painless and usually non-pruritic. There is no specific therapy. See also, List of cutaneous conditions, references, notes. External links Parvovirus B19 at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention